primary DAPS study, continuation of thionylpyridine therapy at 12 months in PCI patients reduced heart attacks and stent thrombosis but increased bleeding. What we wanted to do was identify the particular individual patients who might have derived greater benefit and those who derived maybe more harm with continuation of therapy. So we wanted to create a clinical decision score, a risk score, that could help clinicians make that decision to help personalize therapy in the office. They include age, so the older the age, the less benefit, the more likely you are to bleed. Uh, that's one variable that predicts negative treatment effects. The other variables predict positive beneficial effects. They include presentation with a heart attack, having had a prior heart attack in the past or a prior PCI in the past, um, having congestive heart failure or low ejection fraction, being a diabetic patient, being an active smoker, and as well as procedural characteristics like having a small stent diameter and having a vein graft PCI. We've made it available as a web calculator at www.daptstudy.org, which is the DAPT study website. Um, it's a fairly easy tool. It's got eight variables. I think in short amount of time, people would be able to, to memorize it and use, use it in clinical practice.